Whoa, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, black men. Good morning, my brothers. Hope you guys slept well last night. Hope you got everything you were supposed to do yesterday done. All business handled. Welcome to Tuesday, this new day. So, I wanted to uh, get on here early just so that I can talk to you a minute because I was always told as a child that the way that you start your day, the first 15, five to 15 minutes of your day is pretty much going to dictate how the rest of your day is going to be. So me, I like to wake up and I like to meditate at first. That mixed with being able to, you know, wake myself up because I'm not a morning person at all. But, you know, I have to shake myself a little bit just to, you know, wake up. But I like to meditate and um, I like to also pray. And when I mean pray, you know, I pray with my family before I leave. But, you know, when I get up, I just say a prayer thanking God for another day. But um, one thing that's important that a lot of you men should know, a lot of my brothers should know, is that when you wake up in the morning, whatever you choose to watch or engage with can really have an impact on your day. So... I just I just spoke about thugs turning to bums, okay? That was a straight up message that was meant for my brothers who like to live that street life. The youngins who like to live that street life. Giving you a cautionary tale to let you know that look, this is how it ends up. So I noticed one thing about them is that 24 7 they're playing hip-hop music with those crazy messages crazy violent messages messages talking about killing robbing shooting selling drugs doing drugs smacking women sexing multiple women sexing the other men's women and uh with these messages playing in your ear every day all day like that how can you be productive how can you really be productive? How can you really get out here with a clear mind and thought pattern and say, we're about to attack this day and we're about to make some headway. We're about to uh, be productive and do something positive with our day. It doesn't happen, all right? Now, some people can do it. Some people can, you know, listen to all of these crazy messages, yada, yada, yada. But let's be honest, words are energy. Words are things. Okay, when you speak a word, it can turn into reality. You can cause something to come to life. You can speak life or you can speak death. But it all comes to your words. So you need to watch the content that you take in in the morning. Watch it. Now, I'm pretty sure that you guys have been you know, starting your day, you're on, doing your day, running errands, working out, getting ready to, you know, go to work, what have you. And you just run into that person that's just so angry and just eh, ready to just fight, you know, early in the morning. Well, nine times out of ten, let's be honest, they probably started their day off wrong. And uh, now their day is spiraling and so is their attitude with it. In this world right now, you have to have your attitude in check because the wrong attitude can cost you a lot, even your life. So I'm saying something as simple as when you wake up in the morning, take time to meditate, take time to really think before you grab that phone and you start to engage in social media and you start to engage in what's going on and what thought is on here showing a tale or you know what uh what 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 street nigga is out here talking about all the drugs and people that he done shot and ops he done did this and that to 
because that right there can t play a, a definite role, a part of how your day is going to be. If you wake up and you, you know, you, you start looking at the thoughts on Instagram, of course, you're going to get horny and you're going to want to smash. So then your main ambition is going to be in the morning where the, where the chick's at. That's what <laughs> your motivation is going to quickly change to that. If you're waking up in the morning like I do and you meditate, you pray, you give it time to yourself to get your thoughts together. And then you turn on something like Valuetainment or you turn on something like, um, I don't know, Jordan Belford or, or Grant Cardone or, or Les Brown, you know, someone like that, you know, Tony Robbins, you know, any one of these teachers, you turn them on and you get your mind focused on the day, being productive, going out, creating, building. Then your day is going to go the way you expect it. Today, you, <laughs> your day is going to be, be be pretty good. Now, I'm not saying that all the events of the day are going to be positive, but I'm going to say it's going to put you in a positive mind state, and that's what's needed right now. It's a positive mind state, so that we can get out here, and we can be productive, and, and and not, you know, sit here and waste days trying to find out where the hoes at, because that's not needed. I'm trying to tell you, and I got this coming. This is coming, black man. Risking it all for 22 seconds of pleasure. That's coming, all right? I'm bringing that one. I'm still doing my research on that, but yo, that's coming. Risking it all for 22 seconds of pleasure. That's what we do. We risk it all for some ass. That's what we do. We risk it all for the emotional feelings. The emotional feelings. I can't even say anything after that. That's what we do. We risk it all for the emotional feelings. Somebody could bump into you, step on your sneakers. If you're a younger person. I mean, shit, if you're here in New York, shit, even if you're an older person. Somebody step on your sneakers. And now you're engaging. The, ne the, the, the negative way. An emotional feeling caught you. And took you into that wave. And now you're either fighting with this person. You know, you're doing something destructive not good can't get emotional all right you got to be able to control your emotions you can't risk it all just for some uh emotional gratification it's not good but you know starting your day off right with uh positive affirmations you know watching the content that you put in front of you early in the morning that's the way to start your day because you could either be mad or you could be happy Either one, you choose what you decide to be. Either one. So, me, I choose to be happy at all times. I choose to be productive at all times. That's the way I got to have it. Because, as you'll see in another video that I'm going to do, that you got to decide for yourself that you want to go to that next level. And that next level is pretty much going to be defined by your hard work getting out here actually putting in the work that's what it's going to be defined by so i just wanted to you know give you a good word this morning i hope i'm not too preachy i'm on my way to work myself got a lot of great things happening today meetings you know hopefully we close some deals today and uh well i'm not even gonna say hopefully i'm gonna say that we are gonna close some deals today see power of the word and uh, we're going for that next level. That's what I'm attaining. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm fighting to, to go to that next level right now in my professional career and in life. I want more. So when you want more, you got to do more. And that's what we're doing over here. So I just want to keep you guys motivated. I don't want to only be a channel that's talking about the ills of society and, you know, the things that black folks ain't doing, right? I want to be... A motivator because even in my correction with you guys speaking on the problems and the issues that we have it's all to motivate it's, it's to motivate us to be able to attack the hard issues the issues that we don't want to talk about the issues that are hard to talk about I'm just trying to motivate that's it I'm just trying to motivate you to at least tack the situation to confront the situation before the situation confronts you my mama always told me that. My father always told me that. My grandfather always told me that. Take care of your business before your business takes care of you. That's what you need to do. So look, as you know, if the truth pisses you off, 
allow me to do the honors. This has been another Straight No Chaser. I am your host, Barry Bonds. It's been my pleasure to get with you this morning. Hopefully your day goes the way you expect it. Until next time, you know my motto, positive minds move forward. Peace. Circle, circle of winners, circle of winners, circle of winners, winners, circle.